Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. Rob Ross of the EU Parliament has asked the president of Pfizer International Marketing, Janine Small, whether the COVID vaccine was tested prior to rolling out, ladies and gentlemen, and you are going to be shocked to hear the answer. Let me let you hear it from the horse's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Rob Ross asking Janine Small, the international president of Pfizer, at the EU Parliament this question. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? If not, please say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with this committee? The and I really up, want a straight answer. Greetings, yes or no? And I'm looking and forward to it. Thank you very much. To all um, regarding the question Ladies around, um, you know did we know about, about stopping the immunization? TV, and if this is your first yes, time tuning in, I'm asking you to hit that red subscribe hey, button hey, and we're going to have a great relationship ladies and gentlemen it's a shocking shocking news janine small president of international market at pfizer told the european parliament on monday that pfizer did not know whether the covid 19 vaccine prevented transmission of the virus before it entered the market 2020. Me want you hear it from our mouth. On organ T what I'm talking about, my people. Imagine all our lives were turned upside down. We were introduced to executive orders and mandatory lockdown. And here we are, 2022, two years later, finding out that this could have been a farce. Ladies and gentlemen, disappointed. Here is an introduction. Here is Mr. Ross explaining to you what we went through as if we all did not go through this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a bombshell of a news. You don't get vaccinated just for yourself, but also for others. You remember you that? do it for all of society. That's what I said. Today, this turned out to be complete nonsense. What the man In said? The man said we were told we're not just doing this to protect ourselves. Because me and Rasta man, me not in a it. You are going to take I and I man stay free of certain, what I would say, foreign objects from entering me. Now, as the CDC and all of the social media hegemony and hierarchy and oligarchy, the people that we're supposed to uh, burn out, dictates how I can speak on the social media. So we have to socialize. And I have to let you know that the CDC and the United States President and Dr. Fauci and Dr. Lewinsky says everybody should get vaccine. It's good for them. It prevents the COVID-19. That is what I'm supposed to say. But here you have Janine Small, the president of the International Marketing for Pfizer, speaking at the European Parliament to a parliamentarian, you are going to a government official, Bob Ross, and he asked a very important question. Shocking. A important question. What did he ask? In a short synopsis, as the news media clamor to cover the tracks. The AP, the American Press News reports that 
In context, Pfizer admits to European Parliament that it had not tested the ability of its COVID-19 vaccine to prevent transmission of virus before it entered the market, proving the company lied about this earlier in the pandemic. Now, Janine Small, president of international marketing at Pfizer, told the European Parliament on Monday that Pfizer did not know whether COVID-19 vaccine prevented transmission of virus before entering the market December 2020. But Pfizer never claimed to have studied the issue before the vaccine market released. You see how these people wicked? After Small testified before the European Parliament Special Committee on the COVID-19 pandemic misleading claims about whether Pfizer knew the impact of COVID-19 vaccine on preventing transmitting spread widely on social media. Rob Ross, a Dutch European, um, European Parliament member who asked Small question about the transmission at the hearing tweeted, Breaking in COVID hearing, Pfizer director admitted vaccine was never tested on preventing transmission. Get vaccinated for others was always a lie. That is what the parliamentarian said. Not me, you two. Call me sister Uno I go on like I want to run the Rasta man mouth. And a long time me I tell the people them from the show, them people here lie up, down, and around. $100 billion in profit for Pfizer. And nothing now going to happen to them after they told us we need to go out and get vaccinated. Why would we go and get vaccinated, Pfizer, if it did not prevent the spread of the contagiousness of it? But again, the United States government covered them, but them said it would reduce the spread. Joe Biden came out and said, it would prevent the spread. Dr. Fauci said it would prevent the spread. The president of the CDC, Dr. Lewinsky, said that it would prevent the spread. You can look it up on the YouTube. I got to try black me and all this thing for this thing because I'm revealing the truth. The people, them lie. They lie, they lie, they lie. They lie. I see people still walking around with the diapers on their face. And me point out to them, lie, they lie, they lie, they lie. Them lie, lie, lie. People, the tweet which included a video showing exactly, you know, the exchange between Ross and Small had received more than 232,000 likes and more than 166,000 shares by Thursday. Other social media posts about the year and using the hashtag at Pfizer lie, people dead. And that are the hashtag. At Pfizer lied, people dead. Seem like them there listening to Bounty Killer song. At the hearing, Ross asked Small whether Pfizer had tested the COVID vaccine for the ability to prevent transmission of the virus prior to marketing release. Small answer, no. Me I go here, make you hear how the, me I tell you, say people, people, we had to really move at speed of science to really understand what was taking place in the market, she said. She went on to explain why Pfizer may quickly to develop COVID-19 vaccine as the virus spread worldwide. While Ross and many others framed this as a new relevant Pfizer never claimed that it clinically trial. You hear that? While Ross and many others framed this as a new revelation, Listen to the AP. The American press says that Pfizer never claimed that they had tested it and did not evaluate it during any trial of its effectiveness on the transmission. So why were we vaccinated? Why were we told to take it? What? Them just that test out something? Them just that joke with water. Why? If you did not clinically try it, or you was not evaluating to see the effectiveness against transmission, 
Why were we forced, coerced, ordered, fired, black from flying, black from leaving our house, stopped and prevented from having our daily lives, going to the beach, going to Easter Sunday Mass? Why were we stopped from doing that and forced to take this crap? Again, I am just reading what the AP poll says. The American press, I'm sorry. A study found that Pfizer and German vaccine maker BioNTech published in New England Journal of Medicine in December 10, 2020, a day before the Food and Drug Administration gave Pfizer the Vaccine Emergency Use Authority, did not include data about vaccine effectiveness at reducing transmission of the virus. Imagine, a day before they got authority, they put out a paper and did not include th that it reduced transmission because people were wound up by the government, by the authorities, by the newsmakers, by the propagandists that it is an emergency. All Arnold Schwarzenegger called people names. Then if you're being bullied by the Terminator, don't you think you're going to go do something that you don't want to? And if you are being pressured and told how many millions are being, you know, taken away and dying, don't you think you want to preserve your life? So people were coerced unnecessarily. You are guaranteed. Now the report said that instead it report, the report report that two doses of the vaccine provide 90% perfection against contracting the system. I'm symptomatic COVID and people 16 and older. Pfizer CEO Albert Burrell also said that December 2020 interview that NBC News that it was still unclear whether the vaccine in the vaccinated individual could carry the virus and transmit it to other. Now listen to me. Now go back. Them said the vaccine provided 95% protection against contracting systematic COVID in people 16 and older, then isn't that telling you that it will prevent transmission? I, I, I mean, is this double talk or triple talk or stupid talk? You're saying that you never said that it prevent transmission. And now you're saying that you said that Two doses would provide 95% protection against contracting systematic, systematic COVID-19 in people 16 and older. So that sounds, and it is what you're saying. If it's 90% protecting against contracting the systematic systems or the symptoms of COVID-19 in 16 and older, you're telling people 16 and older to take the vaccine because they're going to be 90%, 5% protected. Uno tech man for idiot. And frankly, there are a bunch of idiots in the world. Tell every little boy and girl. So thank you for sticking with me. I'm going to let you hear the video, the exchange between a parliamentarian and this you doctor. You don't get vaccinated just for yourself, but also for others. You do it for all of society. Yes, and that's, that's what, what they I told said. us. Today, this turned out to be complete nonsense. In a COVID hearing in the European Parliament, one of the Pfizer directors just admitted to me at the time of introduction the vaccine had never been tested on stopping the transmission of the virus. Imagine that! This removes the entire legal basis for the COVID passport. The COVID passport that led to massive institutional discrimination as people lost access to essential parts of society. This wasn't about I find this to be shocking, people. even criminal. Please watch the video until the end. Voor u, mevrouw Small, heb ik de volgende vraag waar ik een duidelijk antwoord op wil. And I will speak in English so there are no misunderstandings. Yeah, speak in English, brother. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? That question is clear. If not, please say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with if this no, committee? If no, say it clearly, and if and yes, share I really the data. want a straight answer, yes or no, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanization before um, it's entered the market? 
No. Uh, these, um, no you know, we damage. have to really move at the speed of science to really understand what is taking place in the market. This yeah, is scandalous. Of Millions of people worldwide felt forced to get vaccinated because of the myth that you do it for others. Now this turned out to be a cheap lie. This should be exposed. Please share this video. The speed of science, people. The speed of science is slow. Like how man develop. Like how the weather change. Slow. Science don't happen like that. Slow. Till you can't even see it occurring. That's the speed of science. So these talking points that these people that think they are smarter than the regular people because that's what's been going on all these years in you know, a people. The people them what think say the regular people them are idiot. Fool up the people them over and over and over for centuries and decades. And when people start getting wise, them come scare you with the fear of death. And listen people, you got to come to the admission. That is the longest part of life. And I want you know, to overstand. I am not telling you not to take vaccine. Because in accordance with the, our rulers, our handlers, which is YouTube, Google and all the social media, the CDC is recommending that you take your vaccine. Although the CDC and the, and the, and the vaccine manufacturer are telling you that the vaccine is not preventing the contagious, the transmission of the virus. They are telling you to take the vaccine and then they are coming back and telling you they never said it's going to prevent the virus or the transmission. So why are they telling you to take the vaccine? You are going to I'm just asking this question. I'm reporting the news, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bombshell of the news here worldwide. I mean, I want all my subscribers them to share this and leave a comment because this is a shocking, shocking news. I mean, I see it all over the news. I don't see it on the headlines. You are going to a European parliamentarian spoke to Janine Small which is Pfizer's international marketing president in a hearing in the European Parliament and asked a simple little question. Simple but important. Did Pfizer test the efficiency? Simply test if this vaccine prevent COVID-19 that we were ordered made, suggested, coerced, told, denied movement, denied jobs, denied entry to buildings. I closed my bank account because they didn't want to deal with me because I was a mask up and they were masked up behind a bulletproof glass. I've sat home. I've, I've stayed out of college. There are people that lost jobs, their livelihood, and now the company one of the major manufacturer of the COVID-19 vaccine, Pfizer, who have made 100 billion with a B, 43 bill in the first three months. And the United States government packed their pocket with some prepaid by 800 million worth of pre-ordered vaccine. And countries all over the world was in on this collusion. Like Mr. Bob Rossi of the European Parliament, this entire thing was a lie. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari right Soldier. I am not telling you not to take your vaccine. I am repeating what's all over the social media and YouTube. So if you want to take down my video, I am going to be stark staring upset. So share this before them do that, family and friends. I'm Rastafari, soldier of Deep Roots TV. I'm reporting live here in the studio. 
that the European parliamentarian, Bob Ross, has exposed the breaking news. He asked the president of the International Marketing for Pfizer at the European Parliament inquiry, did Pfizer at least test the efficiency on preventing the transmission of the COVID-19 vaccine before they rolled the virus out? And she bluntly said, no. Like Michael Jackson saying, no. All I really want to say is they don't care about us. More life, more joy. Thank you, Mr. Ross. Hello, my name is Ashley. Thank you for and that. In like me. Pick up the roots TV. Thank you for that. Reassurance. Thank you for letting me know that Rasta is always on the right side. And Rasta now sell out and take no bribe. This is a shocking news and you'll probably never see it or hear it. Because them no one you know the truth. They want to deceive the youths. That's why I say here on the approach, if you want to hear the truth, yeah, subscribe to the approach TV. Free youths TV. Yeah.